Hey guys, this is Dr. Bertala Meshko, the medical futurist. As I switched from life sciences to futuristic studies about a decade ago, uh, I have to tell you that my background is in genomics. So whenever I have a chance to test a new genetic service, of course, I'm happy to do that. I had my genome sequenced. I've, I've tried many direct-to-consumer genetic tests. I've shared all these with you. And here's a new one I want to test now. It's called 3x4 Genetics, and they gave me a chance to test their service. As usual, I or we don't accept any kind of sponsorships or payments for these tests. And the company sees and will see the video, the article, the review when you do. Just wanted to lay this out. Here is the sampling package. It's something standard. I will have to do a cheek swab sampling. So I find a specimen collection swab in the package with the, uh, the instructions for sending it back to the company for analysis. Here is the liquid. I will have to put my sample into this liquid. And here are the detailed instructions about how to do the whole process. I can confirm that for now about one hour. I haven't been eating or drinking anything, not even chewing gum. Of course, I don't smoke. So now I can safely do the cheek swab sampling. Now, my job is to rub the swab inside my cheeks for 60 seconds on each side without touching my teeth. And as some people might find it disgusting for some reason, like in the case when I try to provide saliva sample, I won't show it to you, but I will do it one minute on each side. Done. Now, next thing to do, I have to move the swab up and down rapidly inside the tube 10, 15 times. One, two, three, four, five. Uh -huh. The good cells are going into the tube. Okay, now I have to hold it firmly and have to remove it by slowly twisting it out with a coarse screw motion. Hopefully my good cells are inside already and I can just dispose the swab. Put on the cap tightly. We're done. Goes into the package. Of course, I registered the sample on the company website already with the QR code on the top of the tube. And that's it. It goes back tomorrow. And while we are waiting for the results, I will try to find out why the company is called 3X4 Genetics. See you soon. A few moments later. As you can see, four weeks have passed. I've grown a beard and everything, no. But in the meantime, I had to fill in an online questionnaire. Basic questions about my habits, my lifestyle insights, how much I exercise, what kind of diet I follow, some basic stuff to understand my family history, and what kind of uh, health or disease management I'm having right now. Based on this, I could receive a better counseling session. So after four weeks, I received my report through an encrypted email messaging service, good privacy measures. It was a PDF document that described 36 genetic pathways. So my experience with other genetic tests so far has been more about receiving percentage-based risks for certain diseases maybe um, side effects of medications or medication sensitivity. But this is the first time I received something like that, genetic pathways. So alone, I was not able to interpret the results and put them into actionable steps or clinical insights or new lifestyle decisions. But with the genetic counseling session, I, I got a clear understanding of what the report meant. By the way, this was far the most useful genetic counseling session I've ever had in my life. I had about, again, 10 genetic tests this was for the best. And the genetic counselor helped me understand these details in the report. Just a few examples, what kind of insights I learned about my report. I learned that I'm a slow metabolizer of caffeine. I sort of knew that based on my lifestyle insights and I knew that I had to have my last cup of coffee before 3 p.m., sort of 3 p.m., to have a good quality sleep, or at least not to ruin my sleep quality because of having too much caffeine later in the day. I learned that I'm very good at sort of called power sports. I'm good at running. I was an athlete, but I'm not good at long distance running. I knew that 
twice a year, I go for a 10K run and I almost cry at the end out of happiness that I could just manage to finish that. That's how bad I am at long distance running. Now it's confirmed through these genetic pathways. But far the most exciting thing I learned from the report based on the genetic counseling session was that I have a so-called dopamine reuptake deficiency, which means if I find an activity that makes me happy and content, I lose that feeling quite soon because my brain cells cannot reuptake dopamine, which means it's also called the, um, there is a novelty seeking behavior. This is the story of my life. To keep on using my method to fulfill this novelty seeking behavior without jumping onto the other side and this behavior leading to anxiety. My whole life is about this balance. After using so many genetic tests, I can fairly conclude that there are some advantages for the 3x4 genetic test. One is especially the encrypted email service, which means to me that they take privacy measures quite seriously. I love that they focused on genetic pathways instead of the percentage-based risks nobody can work around. If I tell you that your risk for diabetes is 34%, what do you do about that? Is that risk based on your own population or a general population? So you cannot do anything about that. But these pathways gave me actionable insights I can work with in my health and disease management. And one more thing, the genetic counseling session was simply excellent. The only disadvantage I would come up with is that if you get the report by yourself, I don't think that you can interpret the results. My background is in genomics and medicine, and still I couldn't really understand all these details and insights. But with the genetic counseling session, I finally could get a hold of it. So that was my experience with the 3x4 genetic test. If you try the test yourself, I cannot wait to hear more about your experiences too. Please leave a comment about that. And thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe below. So you will get notified about all the videos we come up with. Plus, please check out the digitalhealthcourse.com, the platform where you can learn all the things around digital health and the future of healthcare.